Hello everyone and welcome again in a new video tutorial. Today guys I'm going to show you how you can resolve the problem of this screen or exactly an accessible boot device. This problem may be related to several things however the first thing which I will suggest to you to do is to unplug any external hard drive which is uh, plugged into your computer because Windows might be confusing it with your booting device. So if you have a USB or external hard drive uh, plug to your computer, I would suggest to you to unplug it. Second thing, I if it still have the same problem, I would suggest to you to start Windows on the advanced start up menu. As soon as you restart your computer and you access to the, to the advanced start up menu, exactly the, the screen which you can see, then from there we will operate to start fixing your computer. So as soon as you have restarted your computer and access to the advanced start up menu, from there, I will, I will, we will click on troubleshoot and this will open for us several choice or it will guide us to use other tools to, to repair a computer. Uh, again, this might push you to, or this might make you lose your data. So be careful if, when you are using the solution. So now we'll click on advanced options and we can either reset this PC and this is what we will try and this might make you lose all your data or we can go to advanced option and try to restore the system. So if you have any restored point created before when installing another program, then you can go to system restore, you click on it and this is will install or restore your computer or your system to a previous state. For example, two months ago you installed a program and that program made a system restore image, then it will go back to that exact date and this might repair your computer. So we will click on it now and this option may take just a few moments preparing the system for restore and we will need to wait a bit and this apply for Windows 10, Windows 7 and Windows 8. If there is any restore point it will appear now. We will just click on computer. You might be requested to enter your password we'll enter our password and we will click continue and from here as you can see my system didn't find any restore point created or any restore system files so I cannot do that if, if it's also your case then I will suggest you to continue this video if your system finds some restore point you just need to click next and you will be able to restore your system and your personal files will not go away however some of the programs you might need to reinstall them because your co your computer will goes back in the date now we're gonna just cancel we're gonna click again troubleshoot and we will again try the second tool advanced options and from here we're gonna try system image recovery if you have created system image recovery in USB key or in external hard disk so I will suggest you to plug it in and to try to recover your system and this is, will not have any impact on your personal data and your personal data is secure the, sec the other solution is to go back to the previous build if you upgraded from Windows 7 or Windows 8 to Windows 10 then this might be a solution and you can upgrade again after getting the, the Windows 10 again. The last solution using troubleshoot system is the advanced options, uh, sorry, is the reset of the PC. We will click on it and this, this uh, in this solution you have two choices, either keeping your own file or deleting your files. If you really don't care, I will uh, if you really don't care, I will suggest to you to remove everything. But if you care about your files, I will suggest to you to click keep my files. And then your computer will be reset and your settings will be by default. And this might resolve the problem. If you still have the same problem and your computer is not fixed, then guys, I will suggest to you to prepare from another computer to, you, to prepare a USB with the operating system uh, or a bootable USB containing the operating system which you have been using before like if you have now Windows 7 or Windows 8 which is having the problem I would suggest you to make a bootable USB and try to repair you through the USB a video will be coming about this very soon thanks guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial with a new way of resolving problem thanks for watching